Hello, ladies and gents. I am the Rev. We are back with more Elix 2. And in the last episode, we just got done screwing around in the mind. Now we need to talk to this dude. I'm back from the mine. Everyone's dead. What the fuck you talking about, Jax? What the hell happened? I think the mine was flooded with gas. It reeked. Well, damn. That explains why the poor bastards ain't been sending shit. You wanted into the fort, right? Go to Fenris. Someone's gotta tell him what happened. If we ain't getting no iron from the mine, well... That's a real shit sandwich. What if they don't let me into the fort? Just tell God or I sent you. And don't let that motherfucker scare you off. But you gotta hurry, son. This is a fucking emergency. Really, he just keeps going back to that, huh? I thought I thought we could buy stuff from him. That's okay. Pop here. Uh, you again. Scrappy sent me. I need to talk to Fenris. What do you need to talk to Fenris about? I'll tell him myself. But I want to hear it. Let me pass if you care about the Iron Mine at all. Why didn't you just say that in the first place? Before I let you in, you gotta know the rules. You can move around the fort freely. Except for the upper district. Only a chosen few can go there. If you try to get in, the guards will take care of you. If you steal something, the guards will take care of you. If you start a fight, the guards will take care of you. And if you've got a knife to someone's throat... I get it. The guards will take care of me. Nope. That's when we bury you. You get the point? Okay, go on. Get out of here. What about a tour of the place? I don't need a stinking of tour. Of course, the tour. The boss is sick of all the newcomers' questions. Stryker can show you around the fort, okay? I wasn't really listening to what Gardar told you. But you must want to know where to get food. I can explain that and more on the way. There's bound to be a few things you don't know about. You know what? We will take it. Okay. Because there's multiple vendors up here. Just let me know when you're ready. Take me on a tour, dude. Take me on a tour of the camp. Just getting ready to stretch my legs. Come on, then. Living See, quarters are located directly behind the entrance to the fort. Most cultivators and simple workers live here. You won't find any fucking snobs down here. They all live in the upper district. I'll show you that later, I guess, even though they won't let you in. This is Skinny's Soup Kitchen. If you want something to eat and you're short on shards, Skinny's the man to talk to. You want to grab something before we keep going? No. Let's keep going. Okay. If we head yeah. over the bridge, we'll Food's be in the really trade district. Used for buffs? Most of the bastards here want real shards for whatever they sell. They're not as agreeable as Old Skinny. Sometimes you'll find traders from other factions here. Don't let them take you for a ride. If it was up to Gardar, they'd all be kicked out. I don't care. Let them trade if they Ooh. want to. Do you want to take a look at some of the stalls before we keep going? Yes. Yeah. I'll be quick, though. Good. Means I can treat myself to a smoke. Light him up. Hi. Ah, a valued customer. Yeah, please, feel free to browse my wares. You won't regret it. Whatever you need, whatever your circumstances, I'm the merchant for you. Uh, you are going to buy something, aren't you? Well, what do you have? Okay, what do you have? Wares beyond your wildest dreams. Doesn't look all that impressive to me. Uh, you're right. Who am I kidding? 
Business is shit. Hardly have any customers these days. Hey, look, you'd be doing me a huge favor if you bought something. Anything! Let's trade. That's what I like to hear. Take a good look around. No rush. Okay. One handed axe. That's not too bad. Yeah, and we got a two hander here. Again. Ooh, I might be finally be able to start rolling with a two hander. I might have enough points for that. Gas mask. Okay. Okay. Got a sword from her, I think. Oh, here's the inn right here. Let's take care of this guy's quest row right here. Have you checked? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Ravok knows I don't have anyone. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, Chloe owes me a few pallets of canned meat and spices. Okay. But to be honest, I don't care what it is, as long as it's canned. Ideally, not rat meat, though. Eh, had my fair share of that, I can tell you. Is that everything? Well, there is one more wrinkle. It could be tough to get to her. You'll first have to get past her doorman. He's as dumb as a post. Takes his job far too seriously as well. At least he does where I'm concerned. Anyway, that's all you need to know. Bye for now. Okay. Welcome to the Sleepy Traveler. We rent our rooms by the week only. Seventy shards a week. No breakfast or other fancy stuff included. So, will you be staying with us? Sure, I guess. I'll take a room. Great. You can have the one on the top floor. Next payment's due in a week if you'd like to stay on. And don't let the bed bugs bite. Seriously, don't. Okay, oh, pretty easy here. <coughs> Excuse me, so much for that. That Chloe chick could be in here. Wonder where she is. Easy way to find out. Back to you in a second. You're not coming in here. How come? You look like shit. The people who look like shit mean trouble. What brings someone like you here anyway? I just wanted a drink. I don't give a damn what you want. I don't like your ugly face. So stay out. Try again. What the f Have you lost? Hang on a minute. Just got to sort something out. You better be quiet. Did I hear that right? You're not letting someone in because you don't like their face? Oh. Uh. You let that man through. I hired you to throw drunks out, not keep paying customers away. But... No buts! Shit on a fucking stick! I like it. <laughs> hmm. What are the new prices for a large beer? You can have a drink in a minute. I've got a bone to pick here first. Uh... It's several years. How is it even possible that you still don't know the fucking prices? 
You can't sell people beer for a different price every time. Beer comes in one size, and it always costs the goddamn same. Get it tattooed on your fucking forearm. Goddamn idiot. And be goddamn polite to people. You should feel shame. Fucking believable. I gotta take care of every goddamn thing myself. You believe the rumors they left. I really don't know why I bother hiring staff in the first place. Gotta do every damn thing your damn self anyway if you want it done right. And now you show up? Like my day is not shitty enough. What the fuck do you want, Jax? So you haven't forgotten me. Oh shit, she knows us. Oh boy. How could I? You turned the fort upside down. So tell me, how do I get rid of you? Um. You in a bad mood? No, I'm the motherfucking poster girl for happiness. Mm. Ivan is waiting for his groceries. Who? The merchant. Which one? The Morcon trader. Oh, him. You've come to the wrong place. He mentioned you specifically. So what if he did? I had his goods. Had. So where are they now? How the fuck do I know? Some asshole stole them and I'd have to go to the upper district to get replacements. But if I tell you it was Rat who swiped the stuff, it's nothing you didn't know already. Ivan won't like that. Not my fucking problem. Unless Fenris loosens up access to the upper district, he's shit out of luck. I can't perform miracles. One more thing. What can you teach me? Hey, can you teach me something? Me? Teach you? Have you spent the last few years drinking away your couple of remaining brain cells? Can you or can't you? Okay, well, I don't know much, but maybe I know something that can help. You can decide when we get started. I want to learn from you. Let's get this over with. Oh, wow, what does she do? Ten attribute points. But I gotta put fifteen into cunning. Okay, prices... Okay, so as we go through, she'll help us with our personality traits. Go! I don't believe it. Go back this way. <laughs> there. Well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we didn't have your provisions. Seriously? You mean to say you've come back empty-handed? That's not right. There's not a food shortage, is there? Not exactly. Someone with sticky fingers. They were stolen? Oh, for Ravak's sake, just my luck. The guards were probably too busy harassing me to notice. What do I do now? I'll make sure Chloe holds up her end. Yeah, we'll try to. I won't ask how you'll manage that, but I'm not going to argue. Good. Let me know when you have news. I'm ready. Let's keep going. Okay. One other thing you should know. This district also has the Sleepy Traveler, the hotel for the traders. Already went in there. So, if you ever need a good night's sleep, well, you can get that here. Good to know. Right. Well, let's keep going. On our left, you'll see the Mana Shrine. This is where the real berserkers play around with Elix, magic, all that type of shit. I don't touch that stuff. We'll go to my shrine in a minute. Chloe's Berserker Shrine. <laughs> So that's probably where I'll learn potions. The one he just said, that little bio Here thing. Here we are, the most holy of holy places, the bar. 
Chloe is the only person who got to keep her post when the Berserkers took over. She ran this joint when this place was a desert, and she's still in charge now. The Berserkers let Chloe keep the bar? That's what I just said. I know it's hard to believe. I mean, they really changed every other fucking thing. At first I was like, what is this shit? Why do I have to join these tree huggers? But I got used to it. Their rules make sense when you think about it. And boy, those guys know how to brew beer. I can taste it now. Even the armor's more comfortable than those pieces of shit Baxter used to give us. So yeah, I'm pretty happy about being a berserker. But enough talk. You gonna buy me a beer, or shall we keep going? Let's keep going. Huh, guess that's a no on the beer. Ah, oh, well, I'll grab one later. Follow me. We have to go past the Mana Shrine again, and over the bridge. Then we'll be in the last district everyone is allowed to visit. I admit, I can't tell you much about the healers. They're alco... alco... Is there anybody in here? Potions and shit. I don't understand a word of it. Go nope. talk to them if you're interested. They trained in Goliath, real masters of their trade. Okay. The only thing I know is that they make damn good healing potions. I'd be willing to bet they also brew up the stuff Chloe sells. Tour's almost over. Let's keep going. Okay, that was a good spot to just stop and say that. There's the entrance to the upper district. Only the rich fucks are allowed in, and rats in charge. I still can't believe they made that bum the boss. Here we are. If you don't have permission to enter the upper district, you should talk to Fenris. He's the only one who can let you in, unless Rat wants to see you. Other than that, you've pretty much seen the whole fort now. Any questions? Nope. Oh, one more thing. I always forget this part. I'm gonna need a few shards from you as payment for the tour. No problem. Thank you. I appreciate it. Not bad. You're welcome. Could you have ever imagined that this former bumblefuck outlaw desert town would look like this one day? The outlaws should thank us for what we did to their wasteland. This is fair as if I think. Yep. Am I right in assuming you want access to the upper district for trade or an audience with our warlord rat? I. No. Then you must want to join our faction. As I say to everyone, the upper district is off limits. And since that's where rat is, he won't be able to initiate you into the Berserkers. Scrappy sent me. Everyone in the Iron Mine is dead. Are you... are you serious? Yep. The mine's full of gas. They suffocated. By the sword of Ragnar... just what we need. Without supplies from the mine, we cannot make weapons and armor. It'll only be a matter of time until we're overrun by those creatures. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. Take these shards to Scrappy. What for? Tell Scrappy to use the shards to fix this, however he can. Why isn't anyone allowed in the upper district? Ever since the attack, Rat has further limited access to the upper district. That is why I'm so busy at the moment. So if you want to chat, come with me. I need a seat. Okay. You look exhausted. Thanks. I've had to handle everything since the attack. Anyone who used to go to Rat now comes to me. People who want to join us, trade in the upper district, anybody. So all I do is stand here and recite the same rules to everyone who asks. 
But anyway, tell me about yourself. Do you have a name? Jax. Ah, Kaya's friend. I've heard about you. Yeah, she's right to my left. What exactly do you want from me? Oh, here it comes. Is there still a way to get into the upper district? Of course. Rat has to trust you. <laughs> Simple as that. I know Rat from way back. Yeah? A lot of people know him. That won't help you this time, though. Is there any other way? Look, you must be the tenth person today who's asked that. You know how Rat loves his rules. Well, he's also come up with a plan for how to gain his trust. He has authorized me to allow anyone who can earn the trust of another paladin into the upper district. So Scrappy, Thorhild, or Tylus are the only ones who can help you. Come back when one of them is willing to vouch for you, then I will set you one last task. It will be a severe test of your loyalty to Rat. But find someone to vouch for you first, okay? All right. I should write this on some flyers and post them around the camp. There was an attack? You haven't been here for a while, have you? Baxter's men tried to blow Rat into tiny lumps. We can't risk a repeat. So that's why nobody's allowed in the upper district now? That's right. Only a select few are allowed up there. It's becoming a real problem. Oh, Asker. No. Many have business to attend in the upper district, or need to talk to Rat. Now all of them are coming to me. When did the attack happen? A few months back. The whole place was wrecked until recently. It made Rad incredibly paranoid. He cancelled all his appointments, he posted more guards, and then eventually just closed off the upper district. I'm not sure he considered how that would impact Ford operations. Listen, if it were up to me, I'd let you go on up there. But it's not, okay? Right. I should head back outside. Won't be long until the next person comes along asking for access to the upper district. Good luck. Well, that's rough. Question, since he went out... What are you doing? I'm gonna steal some of your shit. No, I'm not. I'm just Go looking. on! Get out of here! I'm going. Good I'm not. Decision. I didn't take any of your shit. Okay. So. That's who we need to see next. Whoop. Uh-oh. That's not good. Looks like we gotta go across bridges and shit. Hey! Hey! Come over here! No! I don't do well with people that can't call me. Alright, there he is. Alright. So when we come back, we will continue on with the whole point of coming to this damn place in the first place, which was to... Talk to Brobart so we can get a captain for the Bastion. So tune in next time. That's what we'll do. Keep your heads down. Your healing potions up and all. See you again real damn soon.